Hey everybody, it's I with I Will Play. Super excited today to give you another tutorial. This one is on building your own starter survival home. This is really easy to do. It doesn't take hardly any materials. You're gonna be able to store a, a massive amount of items, over 35,000 items you can store inside of this small starter home. Let's give you a look outside. We'll take a look inside real quick and then I'll show you how to build it. Let's get cracking. Okay, quick look outside. Side, back. Other side and back to the front again. Going inside, you'll see that you have a nice stand here next to your bed. You have a bed, you have a plant that's a couple high, lots of windows to see outside so you can see if anybody's sneaking up on you. You have a crafting table, a furnace, and 20 barrels. Each barrel has 27 slots, that's 540 slots. If you had 64 items in each slot, it's about 35,000 items that you can store inside of this small storage home with plenty of room to expand, whether that be into the basement, whether that means that you're putting more items into the floor here uh, for other types of furnaces or things, you can. Um, I show where you can put a few items up here as well. It just depends on what you wanna do with the home, but let's show you how to build it exactly the way it is. All you're gonna need is an area that's six wide and seven long in order to build this starter survival home. The items that you're going to need are the 48 dark oak logs, 29 oak logs, 14 acacia logs, three wool, 14 sand, two torches, eight cobblestone, and six dirt. The dirt is to make a stairway to the top so that we have access to the top of the building to finish its construction. The rest of the blocks, you can have any color of your choice, but this is everything that you need to build this building all the way from the bottom to the top. There are some decorative blocks as well. 18 more cobblestone, 14 leaves, and eight torches if you want to build it the exact same way that I had it on the outside as well. Let's get building. First, you're going to want to put a dark oak log down and you go five spots to the side from there. Place another one, six in length. And another block right there. Now we're gonna to want to turn some of these logs into planks. So let's go ahead and turn all of the oak logs. Hold shift and click them until they're built. Let's leave the acacia there for right now. Let's not build those in the block yet because we're gonna to wanna to create 120 sticks and 40 half slabs in order to build all the barrels that go into this. There's 20 barrels, so we need 120 sticks and 40 half slabs. So let's build those now. 30 clicks. And there you go, there's 120 sticks. Now let's get our crafting table. You know, we'll put our crafting table down inside of the house there. Let's make some half slabs. As mentioned, we're gonna need 40 of the half slabs. And now we'll create the 20 barrels. You wanna do this before you break down the acacia wood into planks so that you're not accidentally using the acacia wood or the dark oak logs, so you're not using those. And just stay with the basic oak logs in order to create all the barrels. Now that we have the barrels done, let's create the acacia wood planks. We're gonna turn all these into planks. All right, and let's place all the barrels. In order to place the barrels, stand on the edge of one of these wood logs. Just point directly down. Move one spot at a time, pointing directly down in order to place these so that they'll be they'll have horizontal lines. Same thing on the other side. Now we'll get the acacia wood. And put it on the other sides. We're gonna leave a spot for a door right there. Okay, so so far your build should look like this. Now let's finish the dark oak log beams on the corners. We want to do this four high, so we'll do jump and place three times in each one of these spots. Okay. 
Okay, now it should look like this to this point. Let's place the rest of the acacia wood planks. Place them right next to the buildings right there. Okay, so we're forming a larger square right in the center of this. We're going to go back to the dark oak logs. You're going to want to hold crouch or shift. Place two right there. You're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And then on the back, we're going to place all acacia planks. We're just going to leave a square there for the glass. For this, let's break out this wood plank. We don't need that in that spot. Build these all the way up to the top. Just leaving room for the door and a spot for two glass so you can see through the front. Okay, great. We should be at this point right now. All right, at this point, go ahead and create that furnace. Then we're going to break out the crafting table real quick. Because we're going to want to do the floor. So let's dig the floor one deep, including the floor right between where the door goes. Now you can do a lot of different things. Uh, once you, you obviously could dig a basement like we talked about a little bit earlier um, and go further here. In order to build it the way that I have it, we're gonna put an entire floor in. I'm just gonna leave the two spots on the edge where we're gonna put the crafting table and the furnace. Okay, go to your oak wood planks. I'm going to place these everywhere except for those two spots that we talked about. Now we're going to put the furnace and the crafting table back down, but this obviously it'll be put into the floor. Okay, so now we have access to the crafting table access to the furnace. Okay, grab a few coal or a few wood, whatever you need to fuel the furnace itself. Put it inside the furnace, get the sand in there so we can turn that sand into glass as we'll need the 14 glass. Okay, let's go ahead and place those torches. Keep all the mobs from the outside for decorative purposes also. You wanna put them at this height. Not any higher because we're going to be building a roof that actually takes up this top level. Speaking of that, I actually made a mistake. I apologize. That is barrels, not acacia wood. <laughs> it's on both sides. So let's break these back out. And let's use our dirt. I said you needed six pieces. Pretty simple to build a ladder. To the top. Again, in order to place these barrels, you want to be facing directly down. Okay, now you can hold down shift and move to the side. Click on the left side of this if you'd like to. Or you can just walk along and place directly down. Whatever you prefer. I like to walk along the top so I don't have to put down any extra temporary blocks in order to place items. This point we're going to want to put the roof on so let's go ahead and take the dark oak logs we're going to turn those all into stairs first we need to turn them all into oak wood planks hold shift left click on them to create them all then we can create all the stairs directly afterwards there's a little bit of a trick to this when you want to place this stair you need to point towards the bottom half of this top block right here place it towards the bottom half that way when you place it It'll place it in the correct direction. From this point, as you build sideways, you want to be able to point right towards this bottom left corner of each block, but you want to be kind of close as well. And that way it'll place it in the exact spot that you need it to be placed into. 
and we'll just go ahead and build this all the way around. When you get to the edge, you want to go ahead and let it build one additional out. When you place your next stair, bottom half of this block, you click that, you'll see that it actually joins all the way around. These you can place directly up like that if you'd like. Bottom left corner, click to make it grow out farther. You can hold shift if you'd like to and place them directly next to these barrels. If you don't hold uh, the crouch button, then obviously it's going to open up the barrel instead of building an extra block. Okay, great. We're going to take this dirt down real quick so we can build it out just a little bit further. And there's your six dirt. One, two, three, four, five, six to build you a stairway to the top. Okay, and we're just building this exactly the same way that we did. Pointing towards the back half of the block. Whoops. You want to hold shift or crouch when you place these, or you can place it towards the back corner of the block. And if you paste it towards the back of the block, you point towards the back when you place it, it will change shape on the corners to match exactly the way you want it to look. Yeah, usually what I do on this is go ahead and place one stair so it's upside down. So as long as it's flat, then you can place the next stair directly up next to it like this. Again, back corner. That's where you want to point to. Whoops. Pretty simple to make a mistake on this. And we're almost done with this roof. Let me go ahead and put another one upside down. Oops. Back half of the block again, click. And I'm gonna need the two blocks that I accidentally put inside, <laughs> or that I put inside to build. You're gonna wanna grab those. That's what you're going to need to finish the top. Back over to your stairs. And we'll place the last two. Okay, the roof is done. Coming together nicely. Let's grab those glass out of the furnace. Hey, we got some experience. Nice. Go ahead and place the glass in each one of these open spots. You'll want to, again, point the glass up next to the actual wood beam there when you place it. Otherwise, it'll open up the barrel or you'll need to crouch place. It's easiest if you just point up next to the beam and click. Okay, there's all our glass. Let's make a door. I like the acacia door, it allows me to kind of see through it, to give me more ability to make it feel a lot more open, a lot more airy in a smaller building like this. Okay, next is the bed. Place the bed. Place it on the second block, it'll place towards that. Back there you can still access all of the barrels and let's Build a couple trap doors. Up to you on what type of wood you want this to use or how you want it to look. But if you place one there and right click it, it'll build it up. 
place one there. A nice little table. You can also place one here if you'd like and snap that up. Really depends on how you want it to look or, or what you want it to look like. We can actually place this one lower as well to give it more of a match. So we'll place that one lower. Looks more, that's a better table. There we go. Okay, other things you talked about for decorative purposes were leaves. You can certainly put a couple in here to give it a little bit more greenery, make it look a bit a little bit nicer. You can also build, as we had, as I had built previously, some acacia wood slabs. And you can put these slabs. I recommend you place them up here. And then whatever you want to put up top of there, um, like I had inside of the other uh, build earlier that I showed you. For example, you could put a anvil up here, you could put a grindstone up here, you could put a stone cutter up in this section, whatever you want over here. It's really up to you at this point. You can also make additional trap doors and put them directly over the top um, of these barrels. But you can certainly place these. You want to uh, hold crouch and then right click, hold crouch, right click kind of a nice way to cover up these barrels if you don't like the look of them standing out so much inside. It's really up to what you want to do with it. Let me show you um, by creating stairs with the rest of the cobblestone for decorative purposes. That's all I did in order to do the outside. Along with adding some greenery around it as well. So I just put a stair here, stair there. Stairs down the side, I highly recommend this, not only in addition to decorative purposes, but it does help take some of the blast away from if a creeper was to explode near the barrels. There's blast protection from the stone stairs themselves, so I highly recommend that you put those on. You don't need the dirt stairway anymore because this home is actually complete on top. Put a little bit of greenery around it. Just by clicking on the leaves. In order to get these, you need to have a silk stone on your pick or whatever it is you're picking them up with. And there you go, the exact same home I promised you guys. Completely built. For expansion purposes, you can certainly dig down in the basement, dig a hole, create any type of expansion purposes that you'd like. You have additional room inside of here as well. You could also dig out part of this floor and put additional barrels if you'd like more storage. This is a great starter survival home for anyone that's looking to be able to hold a lot of things before you move into a big home where you need an actual storage facility. I will put links inside of my description below on how to build a smelter, how to build a storage room, how to build an easy water elevator. Some simple things that you'll need early on in your world. But that is it, it's completed. If you like these type of tutorials, please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you hadn't already. There's a lot more tutorials, a lot more gameplay coming soon. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you loved it. Take it easy.